Hello, welcome back to another lesson in English vocabulary level uh, 3. Welcome to the second lesson. In this lesson we will be uh, learning uh, many new vocabularies. The first vocabulary in uh, list uh, in lesson 2 is fresh ingredients. Its word form is noun. Fresh ingredient is a food that is fresh and use it with other foods in the preparation of a particular dish. The Kurdish meaning of uh, fresh ingredient is pekati khuraki taza. As you see from the picture, you see many different types of uh, vegetables. We use this uh, kind of vegetables uh, with other foods, uh, sometimes for the preparation of a particular food and also for the preparation of a particular uh, dish. We use all these fresh uh, uh, vegetables as a fresh ingredients uh, in our meals. Sentence examples. Number one. The list of fresh ingredients included 250 gram of uh, almonds. The second one. You have to mix all the, di all the dry fresh ingredients before you add the milk. Number three, this tiny capsule contains two types of effective pain-killing ingredients. Number four, while cooking sauce, don't forget that all important fresh ingredients, fresh basil. In this all four uh, sentences, we understand the meaning of a fresh ingredient by meaning uh, different vegetables and uh, we use this kind of vegetables uh, with other foods uh, and also we can use them in the preparation of a particular uh, dish practice number one number one blank a food that is fresh and use it with other foods in the preparation of a particular dish or particular meal a chef b drug c ingredient d dish the proper vocabulary for this uh, practice is uh, ingredient because the definition of a fresh ingredient here is given a food that is fresh yes and this kind of foods are used with other foods in the preparation of a particular dish or a particular uh, uh, meal or a particular food uh, to cook a particular food in our meal so the proper vocabulary here is uh, ingredient practice number two my brother created a wonderful meal with very few blank a ingredients B dish C juice D recipe The right vocabulary for this practice is ingredients because here it says my brother created or cooked a wonderful meal so for cooking a wonderful meal we need some uh, fresh ingredients so here we need ingredients to make a, a wonderful meal practice number three while cooking sauce don't forget the important fresh blank like fresh basil a cooker B ingredients C spoon D fork Yes the proper vocabulary for uh, this practice is ingredients why because here it's talking about uh, cooking sauce for cooking sauce uh, we need some fresh ingredients 
like uh, for making sauce we need a tomato tomato is a type of vegetable so here for making sauce uh, we need some important fresh ingredients like as an example is given here uh, fresh uh, basil basil wata rehana another vocabulary uh, here in uh, listen to is drum its word form is na drum is a musical instrument especially one made from a skin stretch it over the end of a hollow tube or ball played by hitting with the hands or a stick the Kurdish meaning of uh, drum is tapal here this is a picture of a, a drum as you see it the, this part uh, is made from the skin of uh, animal and we can play uh, this uh, drum by hitting it this area with our hand or a stick and also it makes a nice uh, sound sentence examples number one Carwan played the drum and they danced to the beat of the drum so it means they Carwan hit it the, uh, the drum and uh, his friends uh, danced while Carwan was uh, hitting the drum and making the sound, making the dance sound. Number two, here in Kurdistan, people usually make drums from the skin of dead animals. So the top part of the drum, as you see it from the picture, is made from the skin of uh, dead many animals. Number three. The drums and double bass usually from the rhythm section of jazz group. So it means that uh, the sound of drums is belonging to the rhythm of a section of jazz group. The fourth one. The drums roll it as a curve, the curve but walk it along the tight rock. So uh, as you see from the, uh, the previous uh, slide here, in the picture you see these uh, ropes so these ropes are uh, tied with the top part of the drum and here this is a handle you can hang uh, uh, the drum so this rope is used for uh, that yes practice number one blank a musical instrument especially one made from a skin stretch it over the end of a hollow tube or bowl played by hitting it with the hand or a stick a guitar b drum c jazz d viola yes the right vocabulary for uh, this practice is drum because drum is a musical instrument we and all of them are the musical instrument but especially when the one that made from the skin of an animal it's a uh, uh, drum and uh, its shape is a hollow tube or a bowl and we can play drum by hitting with a uh, with our hands or using a stick so the proper vocabulary for this uh, question is drum the second practice is the blank roll it as a crowbat walked along the tight rock a keyboard b drums c hip hop d samba The right vocabulary for this uh, practice is drums because the drums as I showed you the rope uh, around uh, the, drum, uh, the drum was used to uh, tie the, the skin of the animal with the uh, drum and we also used the rope to uh, hang the uh, drum so these uh, two 
multiple choices hip hop and samba are the two types of dancing and the keyboard is like a cork uh, so only drums uh, are rolled as a crowbar and uh, we use uh, uh, rope to tie the drums practice number three here what kind of a musical instrument is made from the skin of animals and it makes a nice sound when it's better a violin b guitar c flute d drum the right vocabulary for this question is drum because uh, in these uh, musical instruments only drum and uh, tabor uh, tabor is a uh, uh, the same thing as a drum we can uh, make it by we can make we can make it from the the skin of the dead animals so only drum and tabor are made from the skin of uh, animals and we play it uh, we play drum by hitting it uh, with our hands or a stick and also it makes a nice uh, sound when it's made another vocabulary in this uh, lesson is profile its word form is noun profile is a short description about someone's life or work or character or anything or like a uh, uh, educational degree the Kurdish meaning uh, of profile is profile as you see from the picture these lines these lines of uh, this sentence are belonging to this guy and this sentence also uh, below the picture is belonging to this guy is describing the this guy it may be including the name maybe including the uh, uh, the phone number, the name, the age of this guy. So these are all the uh, description of uh, this man in the picture. Sentence examples. Kani uploaded her profile last week. She added more information about herself. So Kani had uploaded uh, the uh, his uh, her profile on Facebook, and he may uh, and, and and she may add it, uh, different information about herself, like uh, her educational uh, degree, about or maybe about her work, about uh, her family. Second one, drawing profiles is somehow easier than drawing the full face. The third one, every week in the books section of the paper they profile a different author so here profile is being used as a verb so we can use a profile as a verb in uh, the sentence as uh, used here uh, it means that uh, they added new information about the authors in the books paper the fourth one i have uploaded many new posts and images on my facebook profile so uh, all of us uh, have Facebook uh, uh, profile and uh, we uh, maybe every day or maybe uh, every week we add information about ourselves on our Facebook uh, profile uh, it's been used as a small description uh, about ourselves practice number one blank a short description of someone's life work or character a event b profile c notebook d work yes the proper vocabulary for this practice is profile because uh, we add small or short description about uh, someone's life or work or character or uh, educational level or uh, our degree in a university we add all these informations as a description for ourselves 
uh, in our profile. Practice number two. Saying that Ali has uploaded his Facebook blank and he posted new quotes. A. Profile. B. Notebook. C. Author. D. Manage. Yes. The proper vocabulary for this practice is also uh, profile. Why? Because Ali has added new posts, new posts, uh, new posts uh, in his Facebook uh, profile. Uh, so uh, he posted new quotes. He posted uh, new information about maybe him, maybe about maybe himself or uh, uh, his family. So this kind of like. Uh, uh, description to uh, Ali so he has uploaded his Facebook profile and he posted new quotes practice number three we have looked up as a this blank on Facebook and relying on his blank as is studying business in Ashik University a party B. Manage C. Profile D. Government Yes, the right vocabulary for this uh, practice or for these two blanks are profile. Why? Because uh, if we know, if we want to know some information about someone uh, we uh, read the description about that person uh, on the website or especially uh, on the on, on, on Facebook so here by looking up as its profile as its profile on Facebook and relying on his profile we know that as is studying business in Ishi University so by looking up uh, his profile we know that uh, Azad is studying a business in Eshek uh, University because uh, he has added this information uh, in his uh, profile. Airline. Airline is another vocabulary. Its word form is noun. Airline is a business that operates regular services for carrying passengers or carrying goods by what by aircraft the kurdish meaning for this vocabulary is rege asmani yahud gashti asmani as you see from the picture this is a picture of a plane in the sky so this is uh, uh, this plane is uh, working for the airline for the kuba airline so uh, this airline has been used for carrying passengers and for carrying uh, supplies from uh, somewhere to somewhere else. Sentence examples. Number one: Many airline passengers face lengthy, face lengthy delays because of the strike. Number two: We do not fly with an airline that has that has a bad safety record. Number three. Suleimani Airline will launch its new transatlantic service next week. Number four, the airline regularly offers last minute bookings at the bargain price. Number five, there is a huge increase in the numbers of low cost airlines. Practice number one. Blank. A business that operates regular services for carrying passengers or carrying goods by aircraft or by a plane. A. Police station. B. Airline. C. Hospital. D. Embassy.
the right vocabulary for this practice is airline why because only airline operates regular services for carrying passengers and for carrying supplies from somewhere to somewhere else by what by using aircraft or by uh, plane so the right vocabulary is uh, airline practice number two Suleimani blank is going to launch its new passengers to US next month a airline B car company C Maori D hospital yes the right vocabulary for this practice is airline because uh, Suleimani airline is going to launch its new passengers from Suleimani to US next month so only airline uh, carries passengers from somewhere to somewhere else so Suleimani airline is going to launch its new passengers to US next month practice number three Ziad's brother is a professional pilot he works in Erbil blank a hospital b farmland c airline d bus station the right vocabulary for this practice is airline because by knowing that Ziad's brother is a pilot. The pilot is uh, someone who drives or runs a uh, plane. So by knowing that, we can uh, say that his brother uh, is working uh, in Erbil uh, airline, not in hospital, not in farmland, not in bus station. So by knowing that he's a pilot, uh, he's working uh, in Erbil airline. Another vocabulary is multinational. Uh, multinational, yes. Uh, we have multinational in two word forms. The first one in adjective form. The second one is in the noun form. The Kurdish meaning for this vocabulary is The definition for the first vocabulary in adjective form is involving several different countries. Yes producing and selling goods and stuffs in several different countries the definition for the second vocabulary uh, multinational in a noun form is a large and powerful company that produces or makes and sells goods in many different countries as you see from the picture you see different people from different countries they are right to each other they, they, they are connected to each other they are doing business yes they are doing business by uh, producing and selling goods in several uh, different countries sentence examples first one the UN has sent a multinational peace keeping force with a major multinational food company for the military number two are multinationals now more powerful than government so here in this question is asking that uh, are multinationals now are more powerful than government in many countries we can say that multinationals are powerful than governments but in some countries uh, are not there are some uh, other examples uh, here gray waston is a lawyer from an american multinational and he travels travels from new york and back every day Number five, all the multinational companies 
have decided to export food productions to the countries that fight against ISIS. Daesh. So it means that all the multinational companies, it means uh, companies from different countries, from different societies, are arrayed with each other to send food productions or to send food and staffs to those countries who are in fight against ISIS. Daesh. Number six, a major multinational food companies in Kurdistan warned people to buy more food before referendum. Here in these questions mean that uh, different companies in Kurdistan, like companies in Iran, Turkey, and uh, the countries countries around Kurdistan, they have a warning that Kurdistan uh, people should buy food before referendum because they may get in trouble after referendum uh, because of the uh, arrangement with the Iraqi government. Practice number one. Blank, involving several different countries, producing and selling goods in several different countries. A. Multinational. B. Airline. C. Aircraft. D. Advertising. Yes. The right vocabulary for this practice is multinational. Why? Because here you see that many different companies in different countries they are a right to each other, they produce and sell goods in several different companies. As we mentioned, the big companies when they are right to each other to do business uh, together. Practice number two. A major Blank car companies in U.S. have designed a type of car that does not harm environment. A. Airline. B. Embassy. C. Multinational. D. Fashion. Yes. The proper vocabulary for this uh, practice is multinational. Multinational means uh, different companies or different countries. Here we know that by saying that car companies in U.S. have designed the type of car. So there are many uh, different companies uh, who designed uh, this car in uh, U.S. So maybe companies from Japan, companies from Germany, companies from Britain, a company for, uh, uh, from US. So all those uh, car companies uh, have designed this type of car that uh, does not harm environment. So the right vocabulary for this uh, practice is multinational. Practice number three. Blank, a large and powerful company that produces and sells goods in many different countries. A. Profile B. Multinational C. Governmental D. Management Yes. The right vocabulary for this practice is multinational. Why? Because here it mentioned that large and powerful companies in the world that produce and sell goods and staffs in many different countries. So they are doing business. So these are big companies and we call them uh, multinational uh, companies. We can use multinational with other vocabularies like as a collocation, like as we use here multinational uh, companies though the proper vocabulary is uh, multinational 